This is the Gutter Miter Station by Better Tools. The Gutter Miter Station is a developmental product that is aiming to transform the gutter industry by increasing how efficient installers can be when running and cutting gutter. Simply let the stand down, put your miter saw into position, and begin to run gutter. As your gutter runs out, you can mark your exact measurement, slide the miter saw to your cut position, and cut. Just like that, a perfect cut every time. It's a developmental product aiming to transform the gutter industry. I knew this thing would be awesome, but I did not realize how much it would transform how quickly I could run gutter on a job site. When running gutter with the gutter miter station, you're no longer fiddling around with the gutter machine button. Ooh, it went too far. Oh, not enough. Ooh, too far. Ooh, not enough. Ooh, uh, ooh. Okay, perfect guillotine. No more of that. You just simply run your gutter out, make a mark with a Sharpie, and then you just slide the miter saw to your spot seamlessly. I love this concept and since being in communication with Better Tools, their team has made drastic improvements to the overall design of the gutter miter station. This thing definitely has its flaws, but there's a lot to look forward to in the future. You can pick up your gutter miter station at guttermitersaw.com and use code CHAPEL25. It's C-H-A-P-P-E-L-L two five to let them know who sent you good old milwaukee knife to save the day i don't know if this is how i want to open this thing up let's just dig in uh so i actually know what's in this i guess you guys based on the title you should know what's in here this thing this is the best thing ever if you've got a gutter machine this is the attachment to get look look Styrofoam. Let's see if we get this. Open this thing up. See what we got. You guys ready? You guys ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. cardboard, cardboard. Ooh, ooh. Styrofoam. That kind of looks like a mess. Look, get this out of here. This don't matter. This stuff don't matter. Don't look at this. Look at this. This is what we want. Mmm. Wafting smells fresh open this thing up look at that guys check this out this is a solid I don't know if that's supposed to be bent all right this thing this thing is a solid piece of metal right there what is this okay so what this is this is a miter saw stand that attaches this all my hardware. One second. I need to set these. These these nuts and bolts look like they're gonna get lost. Look at this, wait a second. Ripped instructions, okay. Okay. All right, so I don't, I don't really know how I'm supposed to be reviewing this thing. This is how this thing came in the box. Okay, they sent this to me like this. Uh, I'm trying not to be mean. That packaging was not the best. We did get a lot of variety of styrofoam, but you guys saw how messy. I was kind of speechless how this thing came in the box. Uh, this is bent. I don't know if this is supposed to be bent. 
Uh, but this this one over here straight, this one's bent. I mean, I'm sure I can bend that out. But that one is bent. Uh, there's definitely some some things here, okay? I'm, I'm interested to see how this thing does. I don't know what's going on here. Let me do this. There's actually this. Let me... What is in this? This looks important. This was wrapped separately. Okay. So we have a rod. Alright, comes with a rod. Comes with a box. Of, uh attachment parts comes with the main miter saw stand let's go ahead rip into this let's see here what is that what is that it's a pen all right so this, this is a pen. This should be able to just pull out, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Let's cut into this. Ooh, more stuff, more goodies. Look at this. This is the weirdest wrapping. I mean, this, whoo, uh, questionable wrapping. I tell you, the good thing is, so the wrapping, was just not their strong suit look but this stuff i mean that's a pretty hefty piece of uh hardware i will say uh it's got a little texture to it and that that's a that's got nice little hardware i don't know what that's for but this spins it's five eighths by one and three eighths i don't know what that goes to just little bits of hardware Now, cutting into this, let's see this. Like all this hardware, look at these. These slide, this is so nice. Look, these slide, oh my goodness. Oh, they slide nice. Let's be honest, uh, I was not impressed by the packaging, but uh, you know, that's okay. It's not about the packaging as long as the unit's good now this being bent here that's a little surprising to me it's hard to see from the photo if that's supposed to be bent it's uh you know the hardware itself from a first glance looks really good i mean those slide good this is what so this thing sits on the gutter machine like this Ow, that's my fingers sits on the gutter machine like this i wonder what that breaker's for and then it drops down uh it seems like a solid little thing honest response they sent this thing to me for free but uh to review this thing look my review on packaging look at my look at my instructions Dude, you can't send, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You can't send somebody instructions that's got tape. Look at the wad. This stuff is wadded up. It was like this in the box. You can't do that. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this product out. If I like this product and I share this to the world, y'all gotta fix this. This is the one thing y'all gotta fix. Presentation, dude, come on first appearance this thing's bent all right so yeah let's uh let's get this thing back to the trailer and uh we'll start installing this thing uh see how we like to use it this thing has hefty hardware okay it's heavy it, it's been sent in this little box okay look okay there's tape on it dude they loved packaging tape this thing has a lot of packaging tape on it. Let's see here. Okay, got it open. The box is actually broken. It looked like there was two little closers, one on each side. All right, it's a little flimsy, okay? Not a big deal, but this is like, I mean, it's a $1,000 piece of machinery, you know? Send it with 
a decent box and maybe this would be more excusable if the packaging the rest of the packaging was good like this box is fine it holds the hardware it's fine um but just the way things were wrapped up the instructions come on give me a little give me a better pamphlet something that's not destroyed whenever i get it and i just don't know if this is supposed to be bent or not uh we'll get to that and i can address that but on a thousand dollar piece of machinery should it be bent the day you get it mm, you know what i'm saying anyways we're gonna go ahead and move on to the installation process of the gutter miter station we have our hardware components here that come with the gutter miter station first things first we have this 5 8 rod this is the mounting rod that gets installed in between our two l brackets these l brackets get mounted directly to the gutter machine using this bolt right here we have our fine tune miter saw height nuts and bolts these get installed on the main rails and is what levels out the saw to make sure that when the gutter runs out it runs nice and even with the gutter machine and then lastly this is optional these are bumper plates for in the case that you have your gutter machine mounted to uh, some wood blocks instead of metal stands some components it comes with that i do not recommend these are the sliding plates these were horrible these did not work out for me at all um i had a bolt freaking break on me not only that these things just slid around like crazy these little circle rings with the allen key uh screw in them these are supposed to go on the end of this to make sure that this rod doesn't slide out of our bearings on the l bracket these do not fit on this rail I do not recommend trying to get those on. I tried to get them on and they got stuck. Some additional hardware I'm using that does not come with the gutter miter station. There's like 10 inch bolts um, just with the flat head. I don't know the technical term for those. Two nuts, two washers. Uh, these are a half inch round. Then I'm using two pieces of four by six. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we need to get our blocks and these are gonna be used to hold the gutter miter station in place while we're doing the installation. This block here is level with the bottom of my gutter machine. My second board is cut to a length so that it lines up with the top of this four by six. We'll have the board set up like this and we'll be able to set that gutter miter station across here. And we're gonna go ahead and get this gutter miter station in place. We need to pause for just a second and let me explain something that I forgot to explain while I was doing the installation video of the gutter miter station. This miter saw is already bolted in place. But while you have your gutter miter station on the blocks and before you start working on installing your L brackets, you need to make sure that your gutter is gonna run out on this miter saw perfectly. You have to be very tedious when installing these L brackets. You need roughly an eighth of an inch between the back of the gutter and this fence. You also have these mounting plates for the miter saw with these slides on them. You can see I have an additional half inch to move it in the front. If I was to install this stand again, I would move my L brackets over just a quarter inch more because then I would have a little more play to make sure that I have adjustment room for that gap. My recommendation is to grab a helping hand and place the miter saw on top of your stand while it's on the blocks and double check all of your measurements before proceeding with your L brackets. Additionally, if you have a combo machine, like a five, six inch combo, you wanna go ahead and switch the machine over to the larger size. This is because the six inch gutter on my combo machine sits further towards this passenger side 
than the five inch. The five inch typically ends about here while the six inch ends here. Next, we need to take our L brackets and get them in place with the mounting plates on the gutter miter station, just like so. We'll need to take a Sharpie and put a dot inside each L bracket so we know where to drill our holes for mounting the L brackets onto the gutter machine. At this point, you wanna go ahead and get your drill and bit kit out. You wanna start at a 1 8 inch and work your way up slowly until you make your way all the way to a half inch. You can see I have already drilled my holes out on both sides and now we're ready to mount the L brackets. As an extremely important side note, before drilling into your gutter machine for your L brackets, make sure that there are no important components in the gutter machine that you will hit with a drill bit. You can see there's a bracket here for that bar and then there's also the chain link back there. You do not want to damage those components. So just feel around, make sure you're not going to drill into anything you will regret. When installing these L brackets, it's important to know the configuration of the bearing. These bearings are made to be removed and installed from only one side of the bracket. Make sure that the side the bearing is installed is the side that sits flush against the mounting plate on the gutter miter station. I had an issue with the previous install where my L bracket was installed like this and my bearing kept popping out like so inside of my mounting bar. So I've been driving around for about a week with the gutter miter station installed and I haven't used this thing on a job site yet. Um, went to go pull it down to use it on the first job site and this bearing has popped out, you can see on this side. It's supposed to be seated in there. I mean, I can pop it back in there, but this is an issue that has a rose. So, this plate is going just like this. So I'm gonna put the bearing in like that. This L bracket is gonna be sitting like this. So the bearing goes in and out on this side. Now we'll take our half inch nut and bolt and place it in the back of the L bracket. I'm using 19 millimeter and 3 4 inch ratchet wrenches. The 3 4 inch is a little loose, but it's doing the job. Tighten this until it is nice and snug. Repeat the process on the left hand side. Now that the L brackets are installed, we're ready to secure the gutter miter station to your gutter machine using the 5 8 mounting rod. Line up the holes on your gutter miter station and your L brackets and slide the 5 8 mounting rod through. These pieces of hardware were intended to be mounted on either side of the mounting bar. As you can see here, they do not fit onto my mounting bar, so I recommend not using these and instead just keep an eye on your mounting bar. Two weeks into having the gutter miter station installed on my gutter machine and I have not had any issues with this bar moving. Check this out. We're halfway there. Next, we need to adjust the level of the gutter miter station so it sits level with the gutter machine. You'll need a level, and this specific model came with the leveling slides. I had major issues, major issues with the leveling slides. I do not recommend these leveling slides. Instead of using the leveler slides, I went to Home Depot. I bought two half inch in diameter, 10 inch long bolts with two nuts on each bolt along with two washers. 
Go ahead and push this slide all the way down. Lift the gutter miter station up. I drilled two holes in the bottom of the unit, starting with a 1 8 inch drill bit and working my way up to a half inch. With the non-threaded end of your bolt towards the floor of the trailer, stick the bolt in the half inch hole, put your washer on top, We can now get rid of our second 4x6 and let's see how we did. With a level, check your gutter machine, then check your gutter miter station. The gutter miter station is not sitting where we need it to, so we can adjust the nuts on our bolts until we get the right configuration. We're in good shape here. We got the gutter miter station level with the gutter machine. We just want to lift this up one more time and tighten these nuts up really tight. After doing so, let's check our level one more time. It's perfect. We're getting really close here. We're now gonna take our fine-tuned miter saw leveling bolts. These are gonna get installed into these universal miter saw mounting brackets. Take your first bolt, put it inside of the first mounting groove. We're gonna install two nuts. The first nut going all the way down to the mounting plate where you have just enough play in this to move the bolt back and forth for whenever we install the miter saw. Put on your second nut. This nut is used for the miter saw to rest on. Kind of as the floor of the miter saw. That one doesn't have to go all the way down. Repeat the process for all four mounting slots. Now that our fine-tuned mounting bolts are in place, we can set our miter saw up on the gutter miter station and align our bolts with the holes on the miter saw. In the final step, we're making all the detailed adjustments to the miter saw to make sure as gutter runs out of the machine, it runs perfectly level with the saw itself. If you have a standard five inch or six inch machine, you're ready to start making miter saw adjustments. If you have a combo machine, you want to go ahead and switch the machine over to the larger size. This is a five, six inch combo, so I switched it over to six inch. The reason why you want to do so is because the gutter on 5 inch will actually sit further up than if it's on 6 inch. So if you align the miter saw based on 5 inch gutter and then you switched it over to 6 inch, you would then have to readjust the miter saw. If you put it on 6 inch, you can just run out 6 inch, adjust the miter saw to 6 inch, and then it'll work perfectly for both sizes. Once you run the gutter out to the miter saw, go ahead and grab two wrenches and start making adjustments on all four fine-tuned adjustment bolts.
morning everybody we're on to the next day and the reason why is after trying to get this saw leveled out yesterday I realized how big of a project I have on my hands here two things stopped me from being able to get this miter saw fully up and going yesterday both of them are pretty significant first one Whenever I'm running this gutter out, it started rubbing on the back fence here. This wasn't an issue the first time I installed the gutter miter station. I had the perfect amount of clearance. I took so much time to make sure that my holes were aligned with the gutter as I ran the gutter out. The issue is the bearing on my L bracket was switched around. So I had an eighth inch, maybe a little more than an eighth inch spacing coming this way. So my gutter would run right beside my fence perfectly, giving me just barely enough space to where it wasn't scratching the back of the gutter. Because I had to flip my bearing in that L bracket, this gutter now sits really tight against that the fence of the miter saw. And look at that. I mean, it scratches it up like crazy. And on five inch gutter, that wouldn't be, you know, the end of the world. It's aluminum, it doesn't rust. But on six inch gutter, sometimes you have to drop the gutter down. Half an inch will show underneath the fascia. So you can't have a huge scratch like that. That is like unexcusable. I'm a little frustrated because now I need to switch that bearing around. I'm going to pull this bearing out, flip it back in this direction. Then I'm going to need to figure out a collar situation because I'm going to need a collar in here. So that way the bearing doesn't pop out this way like it had been doing. The only issue is the one that the machine came with doesn't fit my mounting rod. So I got to go to a store, either get a smaller mounting rod or a larger collar it's not the end of the world but it is annoying it doesn't come with the right hardware so then you have to go purchase more hardware the other issue that i'm having that is very significant is these bolts are rubbing prohibiting the slide of the miter saw so i have to go get more washers to stick underneath here to raise the height of the saw there's also a pretty big issue with these bolts are now stripping out so i can't raise or lower certain nuts to help level out the saw and brian from better tools said that nobody's had issues like this but I'm curious how many people have had to install the gutter miter station, disassemble, and reinstall again. I've had to do that because I had to figure out how to install it, take it apart, and then show you guys how I installed it. So it's possible that this is a durability issue and no one has had to adjust this hardware as much as I have on this machine. I'll also note that the rubbing of these bolts on the back of the gutter miter station uh, has caused me to make even more adjustments because I noticed if you tighten the front down and lean the saw just slightly forward, it will put tension on these back bolts and lift them up. So I've been trying to make so many adjustments, just like tinker, 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 for hours on this thing, where all that needed to happen is from the factory, it needed to be raised up um, by putting a couple more washers underneath the bottom. Basically, the response that I've gotten is the balls in your court you gotta do what you can to make it so it fits your machine. The goofy thing is this is an industry standard three-year-old KWM Ironman 5.6 combo on stands that come from the manufacturer. This piece of hardware needs to be easily assembled to this machine. The fact that this collar will not fit on the hardware it's intended to fit on and the fact that there's components on this stand that were not placed high enough from the start is ridiculous. I had bent hardware. I had to come up with the solution 
to make sure that this stand wasn't just whoop, falling on my own. Now, whenever I was in email with this guy, he sent me a link and said, watch the two videos on the website. And he sent me a link to the homepage of the website. I didn't see two videos on the homepage. I saw one video and I watched it and I got nothing from it. It wasn't even this unit. It was close to my unit, but it was a totally different unit than what you see today when you receive your unit after purchasing. I then realized that he has even more videos. There's a total of like four or five videos on the website, but they're not on the homepage. I really wish he just sent me a link to the videos that I was supposed to watch because it would have cut down a lot of hassle for me as far as knowing where components went from the beginning i was sitting here with such limited instruction trying to figure out just what the components were that he was referring to in the instructions this thing has to come with a diagram because whenever you say adjust leveling slides whenever i think of slides what i'm thinking of is this where the miter saw slides I had no idea what he was referring to by that. The only photo that comes with this machine is an outdated photo of the product. It's not even this model. It's I know this product's in development, but there was just so much confusion going around what I was supposed to be doing from the get-go that I couldn't make this video I'm presenting to you guys without installing the gutter miter station first, then dissembling to reinstall it again. Cause I had no idea what the components were. I was so lost while doing the initial install of this product. This concept is awesome and it's really close to being like an overall well-rounded universal product. But as of right now, I feel like it's a project. It is a tinker tool. Once you have it all tinkered down, it's fine. But until that time, this thing is a headache to install. So right now, to fix these issues, I have to disassemble this entire thing. I have to take the saw off. I have to take two of these bolts off. Man, you know, small. I got to take the entire gutter miter station off to pull out the mounting rod so that I can flip that bearing and get a freaking collar on there and get the right size freaking mounting rod. So that's where we're at, that's my rant. I'm gonna head to the store. That has to be angle grinded off. I just feel like it's ridiculous that I gotta angle grind not one, but two of these bolts off. You know, it sucks because I want this thing to work right because the concept's so good and it's so close to being so good. It's ridiculous I have to pay money out of my pocket to get hardware to fix this. Like I said, I'm all about this thing. I want it to work, you know. I just think some things could be better on it. I think once it's actually functioning, it'll be 100% worth every dollar you spend on this thing. I just want everybody to know that as they purchase these, they are going to inherit a little bit of a project. He was talking about actually using these slides to adjust your saw for five inch and six inch gutter. I would not do that. I would not fiddle with these bolts 
more than just whenever you install it. Line it up for your six inch gutter. Your five inch gutter is gonna be about an inch off the fence. You're gonna have to live with that. During my first installation of this, I was running five inch gutter. Like I said, it was sitting like an inch off the fence and it was cutting just fine. Just take your time with your cuts. You don't have to be super slow. It's still faster than doing it by hand. This hardware is gonna get torn up. Still heavy duty hardware, but I mean, threading and de-threading these things all day long every single day they, they're gonna give out just set the miter saw for six inch and just ride with it all right so i'm on the way to the store to get some new bolts uh, either a new mounting rod or some collars that'll fit this one all right same collar this is the original rod that it was sent with this is a 5 8 rod fits right on there like that drives me crazy slides so much better already so by adding those washers we now have perfect spacing awesome after making all the adjustments that I needed to make as far as hardware goes re-leveling out this saw was easier than any other time I've done it because I wasn't fighting the back of the saw rubbing up against the framing of the gutter miter station. I now have a fully functioning unit exactly how I want it. I mean, this thing is sweet. I've made a few cuts on it already. Let's go ahead and start demoing this thing. I wanna show you guys how this thing cuts. Look at that perfectly smooth edge. This thing is awesome. Let's talk about my final thoughts on the gutter miter station. Look, installation process was stressful, took forever, super tedious. I wish it was easier and I believe that it will only get easier in the future because I believe in better tools and have already seen massive improvements since I have been in communication with their team. Do I believe that how hard it was to install this thing would discourage me from recommending this to other people? 
absolutely not. This tool is phenomenal. You never have to worry about cuts being messed up. You don't have to worry about the annoyance of the little buttons on the side of the freaking gutter machine not allowing your measurement to line up with the guillotine. This tool is great. The components this thing is built out of are phenomenal quality, thick metal. This is going to last for years and years and years and years. I look forward to seeing where this product goes in the future. And I believe that in the state it's in right now, it's one of the best investments a gutter professional can make to add to their arsenal of tools they take to every single job. Go visit guttermitersaw.com to purchase your gutter miter station and tell them I sent you by using promo code CHAPPELL, C-H-A-P-P-E-L-L -L, 25 at checkout. Thank you guys. Have a good one.